Hey guys, how you doing? So, how much JavaScript does it take? How much do you need to know of a programming language to be able to land your first job as somebody who's using JavaScript as a JavaScript programmer? For a total noob, you're looking at maybe 10% to start getting your first jobs. Yeah, just 10%. Let me teach you a few things about software development you probably are not aware of. So number one, there is no programmer in the world who knows much more than maybe 20% of a particular language, maybe 30% if they're ultra nerds. Most of the time, you're only going to be using a very small subset of any language, whether it be JavaScript, Python, C Sharp, PHP, Java, it doesn't really matter. What you're going to find is that the coding aspect of software development, the coding aspect of coding really, is actually a minority share of your time, if you will. It's a smaller aspect than you would think. Of course, it depends on the type of development that you're doing, but most development, most of the time is not spent necessarily in the code. You're with the code, you're working with the code, but most of the time, the compute cycles, if you will, is in figuring out problems, dealing with architectural issues, debugging issues, not so much about tinkering with the code. So that means you have to understand the code, the basic constructs, the basic structure, the idiosyncrasies of each language. What do I mean by that? What you're going to find as you delve deeper into software development, that each of the languages, JavaScript, Python, PHP, C Sharp, Java, C++, etc., they all have their own little mm, gotchas. Little things that are kind of weird. So JavaScript's kind of weird in certain ways. Python is kind of weird in certain ways. And so you're going to have to deal with some of these issues. That's part of the job of being a good developer is that you understand the weirdness of each language. I'm not going to give you an example of JavaScript's weirdness because you won't understand if you're a beginner. And if you are, if you are an experienced JavaScript developer, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, back to the languages themselves. All the programming languages just about are vast. They're big. They can do so many different things. And you, in your development career, you're probably going to only use a very small subset, only an aspect, a part of any particular programming language. So for example, in my early career, I did a lot of Java development. But I was pretty much a Java web developer. So I used the Java web parts of Java. Java is a huge, huge, huge ecosystem. So there's so many aspects of Java I just never even looked at, let alone was proficient in them. Most of my Java work was with the core language, plus JDBC, servlets, JSP. That's pretty much it. There's a whole bunch of other things like Java Swing and AWT, Java IO, Java Threads, and many, many other things that I just never got into. I didn't need to. And I did professional Java work for years, developing very sophisticated applications, Anyway, you get the idea. So to reiterate, to get your first job as a JavaScript developer, you probably need to know 10% of the language. So if you're getting into it, it's important that you just concentrate on the key language constructs, understand where it exists, how it exists, and have just a basic overview of the JavaScript ecosystem. Client-side JavaScript versus server-side JavaScript. The core language. Uh, JavaScript on, in the browser, the DOM, the back end, a little bit about Node. Again, don't know, have to know, you don't have to know everything, just so you can get your head wrapped around the concepts. So for example, car analogy. If you learn to drive standard in a Porsche, you now know how to drive standard in any standard transmission car. Yes. If you jump into an Audi, the, the gear body, things will be a little different. If you jump to Ferrari, things are a little bit different. You jump into Toyota, things will be a little different. But the general principles are the same. Clutch, boop, 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 boop. don't shift into reverse after, you know, when you're in sixth gear, that kind of stuff. There you go. So yeah, you need to know 10% of the language to get going. The key thing about software development that beginners don't understand is that a big part of the job, excuse me, a big part of learning JavaScript is on the job. Once you get past your key fundamentals, 
a lot what you could a lot of the learning is in getting paid to build things and that's how you're going to actually learn how to really code well is writing software you don't want to get caught in what people call tutorial hell tutorial hell is basically just you just keep doing tutorial after tutorial after tutorial because you're insecure about how little you think you know so you're like, oh, I just got to learn this. And then somebody says, you got to learn that. And you go learn this library. Oh, I got to learn this part about JavaScript. And I got to go learn this part about JavaScript. And you keep doing this. And the ironic thing is that by doing tutorials, you're actually slowing yourself down. The, again, the key to becoming a great JavaScript developer is to get into the ring and start actually building real projects as quickly as possible. So a good course will teach you those key fundamental structures and concepts within the JavaScript language so you can jump in the game and start using it. So there you go. These rules basically apply to all programming languages, whether it be JavaScript or PHP or Python or C Sharp or C++, doesn't really matter. Most of the time, you're going to be using a very small aspect, a very small subset of a particular language. And in fact, in, you're in your entire career, you may only use that small subset. Here's a little bonus. So what makes a pro developer? Does the pro developer know much more about the language than the junior developer? Not really. The difference between the pro JavaScript developer who needs maybe 10% to get in and the pro developer who may be up to 25, 30%. The difference is not that difference. The difference is your level of coding skill. Coding skills transcend languages. So that includes understanding refactoring, understands, understanding how to write clean and concise code, understanding design patterns, understanding the architectures, best practices. That is what separates the pro developers from the juniors. So I'd rather have somebody with five years experience writing code and they're relatively new to JavaScript than somebody who has been doing JavaScript for a year full time and but hasn't done anything else. The five year veteran, let's say they've done a lot of C sharp and PHP or a lot of C sharp and I don't know, Python. When they jump into the JavaScript world with their five years of experience, they are a developer with five years of experience. That's the basic thing. I think grappling is a good analogy for that. If you have a jujitsu practitioner with five years of experience, they go over and do some judo against the judo people. Uh, they will pick up the judo throws very quickly and they'll be very advanced, much more advanced talent aside, all things being equal. They'll be much more advanced than the judoka who's been doing judo for two years. And vice versa. If you get the five-year uh, judo practitioner, go over to jiu-jitsu class, brand new jiu-jitsu. He's going to submit the hell out of the jiu-jitsu practitioner of one year or two years of experience. No question. Grappling is grappling. Principles are the same. Sensibilities are the same. There's nuances between the styles, of course, you know. The uh, jiu-jitsu guys are much more ground game oriented. Judo is more balanced. They have a lot more takedowns and throws. But anyway, another story. So there you go. Finalize the video. Good thing. You don't have to learn the whole language. You just need that crucial 10%. And the key to really learning and mastering any programming language, not just JavaScript, is to jump into the game, start building real apps as soon as possible. I'm Uncle Steph. I've been writing professional code since 1995. I've been training people for many years now. I have a full-blown mentoring program, links below, and standalone JavaScript course, which teaches exactly what you need to know to get up and running as quickly as possible. There you go. If you disagree with anything I say in this video, please uh, note it below. If you don't like Ruby as a programming language, please let me know below. Very important to me. And uh, that's about it.